Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus giving you another live commentary, live gameplay once again. I'm uh, going to be rolling with Arizona is my offense. Got a couple schemes, uh, gun spread, Y slot, gun spread, Y flex, and I'll also be jumping into the gun trips. I haven't really worked on a red zone scheme. I'm going against a guy in, with it, uh, the Saints again. I wish I would have got a different team to go against, but that's all right. Hopefully we can go ahead and stop this guy. I'm going to be playing around uh, with the nickel double A gap uh, defense, uh, kicking off to him initially. I'll be just uh, just trying to play around with the defense and hopefully I don't get myself in any kind of trouble where I do any uh, run commits um, in this type of situation because I give up some pretty cheap touchdowns against my previous uh, opponent based on uh, just not making adjustments correctly. So still working on that, still working with the D-pad. Um, I find myself when I get back in the game, I try to use the old controllers and it becomes kind of challenging. So let's see here. I'm gonna use the big nickel here and we're gonna take out the cover one hole and we're gonna put in this player right here. I'm going to come out of the spy. Good read. Really good read there. Pressure right there off the edge. You didn't block anybody. We're gonna switch things up here. What the flats? Good read. I didn't have my defense set up correctly. I, I uh, made an adjustment right there, so. Just a uh, work in progress. There you go, so just jumped into a man blitz. Oof. Jackson came across and made a play for me right there. Actually, it didn't have the defense set up the right way. That was a good call right there to do the screen. There you go. So pressure off the edge right there with Lynch. All right, this guy's doing, he's not blocking uh, enough people, and that gave me a, a big opportunity right there. So let's go ahead, set up our plays here. My stick we're going to switch out with. Cross our verticals. Switch out with my shallow. We're just going to run the ball here. Let's see if we get some pretty good yards right there.
So weak, just smash. And four verticals, we're gonna do mesh. Where are you at, mesh? And we're gonna come out, jet pass here. Let's see if he gives me one play touchdown opportunity. Yeah, that's, that's looking like it. I catch that. Yep. Alright, so back to the jet sweep here. So he switched into a double A gap. I caught him off guard, and then that jet sweep actually came up with a really good play right there. So uh, he switched, he put his guys in the gaps. So. I'll take it. I'll take the points. And he doesn't like blocking his running back, so it's going to put me in an advantage. Rare is a beast, man. It's a beast of a running back. You know, he just threw right into coverage right there. <laughs> and he just threw right to me. So I might get a rage quit from this guy. And I probably shouldn't have said that. He had a spy in the middle right there um, with the hole. So that caught me off guard. All right, so uh, I tried to do that spot route right there on the stop fade, and he hit me with some man pressure, and that just, uh, I had to wait for that play to develop because I stretched it out a little bit deeper than normal, so that wasn't necessarily a good, good read. I probably should have went to another area. He's going to keep hitting me uh, with this uh, route concept over here. Lattimore, just swallow that up. All right, so I'm gonna punt. Got an opportunity, that was a huge sack. Bad decision by me, that's all right. Got a couple of stops on defense and he's got his first.
I actually did hard flats. going. Any pots? Alright, so able to go ahead and keep things going here. Let me go back and jump into the slot flex here. Stay with the jet sweep. Alright, so you're showing me cover three. There's my touchdown. Nope! God damn it. He switched into man coverage, and um, I, I always make that read late. I always make it late. So you picked up a couple yards on that. There you go. So big play right there on the defensive back. it up against him. He's expecting pressure and that just came around the edge so messed him up. So three stops on defense so far with this nickel double A gap. So back to that, try to establish that run. Stay in a man coverage, so I should be able to pop him for an easy 10 yards now. coverage and where are we it's going into two minute warning back to the jet sweep There you go. 
So Robinson's able to go ahead and make another play for me. Get that ball down. I gotta take a timeout. I didn't like what I had. And it should be a shell. There's a nice little block shed right there, but we're going to go ahead and take this clock down. I think you want into cover, well, cover three sky. You guys know the reason why sometimes it shows previous plays and doesn't. I'm just curious if you guys know the reason why that, why that goes, why that's happening. Um, I have no clue. So I'm intrigued if you guys know. So I'm going to take points here. I feel like I should winning, be winning more against this guy. But no reason to walk away from points in this type of situation. Probably should have ran that clock down a little bit more, but... So, uh, gonna go into the second half up only by two scores. This should, this game should be a lot tighter, or, or I should probably be up by 14, maybe 17 points at a bare minimum. Based on stops, um, I've definitely made some mistakes. I don't think like he's out playing me. He's just using generic defenses, uh, but he's using a lot of man coverages, and that's it's been effective for him so far. So got up to 26. It's, it's not a bad thing right there. Okay, so maybe we need to hit him with. Um, Stop, uh, stop fades against them. <laughs> you 
gives a switch up, he's just going to keep staying with this type of coverage. Loving this man coverage, isn't it? There we go. So just picking up some good yards with Cordell Patterson. I'll take it. keeps playing these man coverages. That box is spread. I'm just going to go ahead and run that ball to get a first down. Now he switched into cover three buzz match. So now I got him out of his defenses. Here's my one play touchdown if he stays in this. Okay. Well back. Here we go, guys. Thank you. Ah. Uh, that should have been a touchdown. play um i didn't have any reads there i was looking for the spot route one of the one of the, the uh defenders actually played a spot route and that messed me up so we're gonna go for it that was it was a good i i just it, his his guys didn't play what i was expecting just plain and simple i was not expecting that if he blitzes i'm fucked Alright. I can tackle him. That's better. That's actually the interception is better uh, than uh, turnover and downs. Even though he got yards on that, that actually, I like that defensive look. right into my defensive back.
just throwing a ball up right there. He'd get him with man blitz. And he was struggling. So that's what's great about having that double A gap. Um, it's just it's such a fast pr pressure, and it's just so easy to run. He's just staying in this man coverage, and his guys are completely blanking to me. Um, there for me. Wanted to cover three match. Going into the fourth quarter now. I'm not going to be able to get this off. Uh, up only 10 to nothing. This guy's man coverage has caused me problems. Um, it's, it's definitely, I'm having some serious issues with it. There you go. Come on. Thank you. There you go. Big play right there. That's actually going to be the ice right there. So cover three buzz. It looked like it was man initially. The guys fell back uh, into uh, my fade stops, but that was a huge play. That's that's pretty much going to be um, ice uh, in this game uh, because he's going to have to do something serious, and he's struggling against my double-A gap de defense. He doesn't really know what to do with it. And what's great about the double A gap defense, it's going to take his best player out of the game because he's going to need him to block because there's always a threat, always a threat of, of a blitz. And if you take Kamura out of the scheme, it's not going to be good for him. Right to my seam, and he should be definitely donezo now. Just struggling with this defense. And this is just a brand new scheme. I'm, I, I just went ahead and, and put it together, so I'll probably do a breakdown uh, for my Lockdown Thursday uh, events. And you'll probably see this um, in, in advance. So, uh, once again, guys, um, thank you for your support. We'll be uh, rolling out some more gameplay for the future. So once again, thank you for your support. Until next time.